Hey there, Johnny Davis from the Texas Guitar School, and uh, hope you're enjoying your day today. It's another rainy and wet, cold day out here in Arlington, Texas. It's uh, about 40 degrees outside. Had a customer come over uh, for guitar lessons over at the weekend, and they asked me, uh, what's the best way to combine pentatonic and diatonic shapes if you're playing uh, over octaves and the gap between your scales is wide? So I told him well, one of the best ways to do that is to use single string diatonic licks. So what we're going to do today is do a series or a group, maybe three or four uh, single string diatonic licks. Uh, let's choose uh, E minor as the key. And I've got my uh, purple Strat fired up today. And uh, let's get to it. Single string licks in E minor. Okay, so to start with what we're going to do is lay the framework uh, for these licks. And you can follow along with me. I'm going to do the uh, diatonic licks that correspond with the uh, five uh, pentatonic shapes. Okay, So this is an E root, so we've got E minor here. This is fret 12 on string 6. Okay, So we have fret 12, string 6, that's E. This will be an E minor pentatonic root. And E aeolian diatonic. Time. Okay. Next up, G Ionian major. Okay, so pentatonic shape. One more time. And a G Ionian major diatonic. One more time. Okay. Next one will be A Dorian. So we have A Dorian. Pentatonic shape. One more time. And a Dorian diatonic shape. One more time. Okay, now we're going to go backwards. All right. So in behind our E root on fret 12, we have Mixolydian, which is going to be on fret 10. Uh, pentatonic shape is one more time. And again. All these pentatonic shapes. So these diatonic shapes, you can just slow the clip down and watch my fingering. Okay. So again, we're on fret ten, which is D, mixolydian, diatonic. One more time. Okay. Now we're going to go to B for Phrygian. Okay. Uh, pentatonic shape. And full diatonic. Okay, again, we're on B. So now we've got the A here. We're going to use a Dorian, which we used down here, just knocked it back. Okay, so the same scale that you ran from fret uh, 19, or 17, I'm sorry, on uh, your guitar here. Excuse me, is the same uh, scale you're going to run from A on uh, fret 5 string 6. Okay, so let's get to it. Dorian pentatonic. One more time. And full scale. Again, diatonic. Okay, and the last one for this is G major, which is the same one we're going to run from fret 15 back here on an E string. So, same scale, just an octave apart. G, 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 G. Okay, so G major pentatonic. One more time. And uh, G Ionian major. Time. All right, so that gives us our framework. Those are the five pentatonic and diatonic shapes that uh, go together for the key of E minor. Okay, let's get to some licks. Let's do some uh, single string metal style guitar licks. This first one, shape one, what we're going to do is we're going to connect fret 12 with fret 20. Okay? And what we'll do is we'll do a little trim picking. 
Okay, so those of you that are unfamiliar with what, are, what trend picking is, is the ability to take your pick here and be able to do it in uh, consecutive notes, usually 16ths or 32s on an individual string. Eddie Van Halen made this popular in several of his licks in Eruption. Okay, so here we go. We're going to connect 20 to 12 using all those diatonic shapes. Let's go straight back up the fretboard. Again. Again. Okay, slow. Okay, now for uh, lick two, what we're going to do is we're use the open string, which is G. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to come back. We'll use uh, a couple of shapes here. Let's use major at the bottom, two, three, five. Let's use uh, Dorian, which is uh, uh, five, seven, and uh, eight. And uh, we'll connect those two shapes together like this with the open string. Okay. So if we do a little more, another trim picking exercise, this time we're going to add a hammer pull. If we go. All right. Okay, so two parts there. One is the trim picking. The last part of it's the pull off. You're going to take two, three, and five and pull the whole thing off to the open string. Okay, so with this third and final metal style lick, let's do a little uh, uh, a little tapping lick, a la Eddie Van Halen, Alan Holdsworth, and others. Okay, so let's do let's do uh, let's see, how about Phrygian, Mixolydian, and Aeolian? Those are the three we've left out so far. Okay, so your first fingers are going to go on fret seven again. It's all bottom string. Seven, eight, ten, eight, ten, twelve, ten, twelve, fourteen. 12, 14, 15. Right, so it's going to give us these notes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have two parts. One is going to be a hammer pull with your fretting hand. That'll be a 7, 8, and 10. Okay, to him. That's a hammer and a pull. Two, two parts there. Hammer, pull. Now, the fretting hand is going to cover the other, I'm sorry, the tapping hand is going to cover the other part of it. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to tap on 12, 15, and 14. Okay, and you, the, the tapping with your, with, your, with your tapping hand is a, is a two-part technique. It's a hammer and then a pull. Okay, tap. If you roll that, you have... Okay, one more time. Slow. All right, now we're going to combine both those ideas. Slow. Okay, so full speed you have something like So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that single string metal style guitar licks on uh, on your uh, single E string there for you. 
Uh, don't forget the thing to take away from that is just because you're learning your shapes in a box and you're learning your shapes up and down this, the fretboard this way, don't forget that your scales also run this way and that's an excellent way to, con to connect pentatonic and diatonic shapes as you're soloing. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>